I know what you're going to say. Why is Pavel putting up a third video today? He already dropped the Matt Laszlo interview and he already dropped that video on time and space manipulation, which I think it's one of the most important news of the year. Well, over the last week, we've gotten like three of those that I think are news of the year contender. And this is one of them. The other one was about the Nazca beings, uh, the news that I dropped last week. But this one, a uh, friend of the show, Matthew Pines, had been teasing this one for a while. And I'm going to show you. I saw this headline from Matthew Pines. But before we continue, what's up, humans? Welcome to a new Sequo Activo. There it is. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing okay. So let's do this, okay? Okay, so this is Matthew Pines. And I saw a number of tweets last year uh, where he had been teasing about the potential announcement of life on other planets. And he was the one who uh, had been saying that there could be something brewing that would be announced soon. And there's this uh, person named, uh, he's an astronomer, the lead scientist here, uh, Niku Madusudan. Niku Madusudan. Uh, sorry for butchering that. And this is the headline. It says, astronomers detect a possible signature of life on a distant planet. Further studies are needed to determine whether K218b, remember the name, which orbits a star 120 light years away is inhabited or even habitable. And Matthew Pines had been teasing it for a while, as you can see. He just dropped like all of the, the stuff that he was teasing about. He says, I have a feeling we're going to be pouring over graphs like these pretty soon. The reason I'm doing this today is because we have some breaking news about this let me just share the screen with you guys and i know what you're gonna say the sun is not exactly like a the most reliable source in the world but they did interview the astronomy team and we're gonna cover this so et phones home best ever sign of aliens found as scientists say, they are 99.7% sure and believe this planet could be teeming with life. They used a genius sky scanning trick to find it. Aliens might be lurking on a far off ocean planet in an astounding discovery. Britain's brainiest scientists have told the sun. Top alien hunted hunting astronomers at the University of Cambridge. Cambridge say they're now 99.7% confident they've spotted the best ever seen signal of biological activity and say the planet may be teeming with life. It's taking place on a distant alien world called K218b, which is 120 light years away and roughly 2.5 times the size of Earth. Astronomers have picked out a molecule called DMS in the planet's at atmosphere. On Earth, it's produced by the tiny algae that live in our seas. These uh, pythoplankton are microscopic and can't be seen with the human eye, but in large numbers show up as colored patches of water. And similar alien life forms might be churning it out on K218b. Lead scientist professor Niku Madusudan said, and I quote, there is no mechanism in the literature that can explain what we are seeing without life. It's a question humanity has been asking for thousands of years. It's a shock to the system. It takes time to recover from the enormity of it. The astronomers use data from the James Webb Spa Space Telescope, which launched on Christmas Day in 2021. They've spotted fingerprints of two molecules, dimethyl sulfide, DMS, and or dimethyl uh, disulfide. DMDS in the planet's atmosphere. These are only produced by life on Earth, usually microbial. And the results are so convincing that there's just a 0.3 probability they occurred by chance. It's all taken place on a so-called Hycian world, 
which planet with a watery ocean and a thick hydrogen atmosphere. Hycian comes from combining hydrogen and ocean together. Quote, if it's indeed a Hycian world, the planet would be covered in oceans. We currently don't know what the temperature of those oceans would be, but we expect it to be slightly warmer than Earth. On Earth, extremophiles have been known to survive at very high temperatures, so that's not itself an issue, end quote. And then we can directly see K218b because of how close it is to the host star. So scientists have to use a genius technique to work out what's going on in there. They watch the star that K218b is orbiting and wait for the planet to pass across its face. By analyzing the star's uh, light during this transit, the James Webb Space Telescope can pick up the drop in the star's brightness. A small fraction of the starlight passes through the planet's atmosphere, and the absorption of this starlight in the planet's atmosphere leaves imprints that astronomers can use to work out which gases are present. Not only did uh, Madhusudan steam spot DMS, a biosignature, in the atmosphere, they found it in huge quantities. Normally, DMS and DMDS are found on Earth's atmosphere at rates of about one part per billions, but K218b levels are thousands of times higher, more than 10 parts per million. And I quote, earlier theoretical work had predicted that high levels of sulfur-based gases like DMS and DMDS are possible on Hycian worlds, the Cambridge prof professor explained, and how we observed it in line with what was predicted. Given everything we know about this planet, a Hycian world with an ocean that is teeming with life is the scenario that best fits the data we have. He added, and I quote, this has been one of the most fundamental questions that we as a species have asked for thousands of years. Everyone would agree that at some point in their lives, they would look at this night sky and ask, are we alone? But there's still more work to be done. The certainty level is currently three sigma, which is 99.7%. Madhusudan wants to get more analysis time to reach the coveted five sigma, which means there's just a 0.0006% probability the results occurred by chance. And I quote, the observation was about eight hours of James Webb telescope time. Madhusudan told us he said they need two or three more transits to be certain, which is 16 to 24 hours. We have to formally apply for the James Webb te telescope time, and there will be a selection process, said Madhusudan. And if they're convinced by the case, it'll be accepted, and then the observations will be made. But these observations are non-trivial to make. They don't happen very frequently, especially with the James Webb Telescope. There are only around four windows of observation every year. So if these observations are approved, this would happen potentially over the next year. So next year, we could get complete confirmation. And then he also said, you're faced with potentially one of the biggest landmarks in the history of science. It's not my intention to make it sound grand, but there is no other way to put it. What is the importance of this result? Think about us as a civilization, as a society, or evolution as a society. You'll see that it's right up there. If it ends up being true, we can't hide away from that fact. We can deny it, but it will come back. The big question in my mind is whether we as a species are prepared to find life as we don't know it. This is major news, another news of the year contender for me. Thank you to Matt Pines for uh, posting this. And uh, thank you to The Sun who released the article. I'm going to leave links in the description for everything. But apparently, it's no longer like a, you know, false information or a rumor. Uh, James Webb discovered something significant, apparently. We have to wait only a year to get complete confirmation, but that percentage is wild.
99.7% certainty. What do you think about this? I'm kind of speechless to be honest with you because it, I just saw it and it caught me by surprise. And it's just for like from like an hour and a half ago that it was posted by the sun. What are the implications of this? And yeah, James Webb, what a tool. What a great tool for humanity, right? It's been uh, uncovering stuff that is making us look at the universe's grandness and vastness uh, with a lot more clarity. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, this is huge news. Do you think that if it's that planet is teeming with life, do you think they could have some kind of sentient life like us? What would that look like? Would you like to speculate a little bit? 120 light years is pretty far. We could only reach that spot in the universe if faster than light travel is possible. If we can go through wormholes and just do it instantly, you know? I wonder if that's possible. Based on my previous video before the Laszlo interview and this, it might be. This is very exciting, guys. I cannot hide this. I love news like this because I think it propels humanity forward. And I think that's always necessary and always welcome should be. So let me know what you think. I'm excited. Are you? If you like the content you see, I'm going to ask you to please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can get notified when a new video drops. If you want to support the channel in any other way, pick a link in the description. You can also become a member on the channel. You can also support us on KGRA. Every single bit of help you send our way is always appreciated. So thank you. That's it for me today on this video. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, stay curious. Stay inquisitive. Ciao.